tension, anger and damage to property was witnessed for the better part of the day in Malaba as police officers engaged the locals in running battles. They were protesting the death of one of their own, shot to death for allegedly not wearing a mask. Tulikuwa tumesimama pale roadblock, tukitafuta risk yetu ya kila siku. Maskara walipo tokelezea pale, wakaseme ya kwamba kila mbuta pafaye barokoa. Kwa hile hali, vijana, walikasirika sana, alipo... The protesters alleged that the policeman involved in the incident used excessive force, resulting to a big loss to the family. According to eyewitnesses, the police officers who were on patrol at 7 p.m. on Friday provoked civilians as they sought to arrest those floating COVID-19 health protocols. Kushika mtu mmoja hapo hivyo. Umati watu kakataa wasiende na yeye. Venye umati watu likataa wasiende na yeye. Wakapiga askari mmoja kwa mgongo na mawe. Venye askari aliamka chindo alikuwa amesha ameshampiga risasi. Tulikuwa blackout kabisa. Mimi na boss na madokta wawili. Hakuna usaidizi. Tunajaribu wapi na kimia kunua wembe wapi. Dugi yangu the protesters are now calling for justice. They also requested for the transfer of police officers who have served in the area for long, claiming that some of them are now being used as conduits for crime. Waziri Matiangi, ni kwamba yeye pamoja na ipoa, waingilie kati, haraki weze kanavyo, kwa kikisha kwamba jambo hili ni mefatiliwa. Tunaomba. Tafadhali Inspector General wa Polisi bwana Mutiambai tunaomba huyu au maskara ambao wamekaa hapa muda mrefu waweze kutoka The area leaders have condemned the killing calling on the relevant authorities to intervene DCIO na pia IPOA waishughulikie hili jambo wajue ya kwamba hatua ifayo inachukuliwa uh, tunataka justice Justice last may patikane katika hii katika hii familia because of failing to put on a mask a young man loses life this is uncalled for so i want to condemn the action by the officer and i want to appeal to the ig and the, our security agencies to take immediate action to ensure this officer who shot the young man is arrested and brought to court and let justice be seen to be done. According to Teso North Member of Parliament, Saturday's incident wasn't the first one, and it is not the last one if nothing is done. The Busia County Commissioner Joseph Kanyiri has however said that investigations to the matter are ongoing, even as the police officer involved in the killing is being questioned. But this investigation may have come too late for the family of Ezekiel Odera. Nixon Kisaka, K24 TV.